William praised for admitting fault in his own opposed to Harry birds of a feather flock together. Prince William blames himself for his problems in huge difference from brother Prince Harry, according to a royal expert. The comment comes as Prince William has taken part in a rare candid podcast, which was released this morning. It saw Prince William journey on a walk through the Queen's Sandringham estate to his country home of Anmer Hall. He spoke frankly about the affect his work as an air ambulance pilot had on his mental health. Royal expert Ingrid Seward spoke about the brothers on GB News. She said, it's typical, I think in California a lot of people speak like that. William speaks completely straight and you understand what he's saying. She added, it's Harry's anger and William's acceptance of the situation, William isn't blaming anyone, he's blaming himself for his problems. His job, which was very traumatic at times, he explains that beautifully. He's not laying blame, he's taking a responsibility himself and mending it. I think that's what really really shows the difference between the two brothers. They're really coming from a completely different place mentally. When Diana was alive, she allegedly noticed the differences in William's and Harry's personalities. According to her former chef, Darren McGrady, the late princess used to say, William is deep like his dad and stubborn, and Harry is a hothead like me, he does the first thing that comes into his head. Prince William briefly became a podcast host with a recent appearance on Apple Fitness Plus's podcast Time to Walk. The Duke of Cambridge used his airtime to share some stories about his personal life and promote mental health. Additionally, according to a royal expert, William's Time to Walk episode also offers some insights into why he and his brother are experiencing a rift. As William encouraged listeners to take a stroll, the Duke also went on a walk around Queen Elizabeth's Sandringham estate. While walking, he shared some tidbits about his life and childhood. Much of William's work is on promoting mental health, so he opened up about some parts of his mental health journey, such as his work with the East Anglian Air Ambulance from 2015 to 2017. William admitted that, while working as an air ambulance pilot, he was taking home people's trauma and being hugely affected by it. He shared that he coped by talking with other people about his emotions. William also shared with listeners some of his favorite songs and the memories connected with them. For example, his mother, Princess Diana, used to play Tina Turner's The Best to help William and Prince Harry deal with back-to-school anxiety. These days, William has a similar ritual with his own kids, and they are fans of songs like Shakira's Waka Waka. William's Time to Walk episode has received positive reactions from royal followers, such as commentator Sarah Vine. In a Daily Mail article, Vine wrote that she believed William did a good job of showing his down-to-earth side while also acknowledging the privileged position he is in. In just 38 minutes strolling gently through the Norfolk countryside, we learn what so many royal watchers have lately come to sense is true of William, Vine said. That he is a remarkably well-rounded human being, a man who embodies rather than wears the mantle of royalty, who harbors an acute understanding of the responsibilities and challenges of his role, who has a real and heartfelt connection to other people. Vine continued, it's clear things haven't always been straightforward for him. Yet he is also painfully aware that, compared to the problems of so many others, his own struggles might seem marginal. And it is precisely because of this self-knowledge that he inspires such empathy. Vine contrasted this with Harry's approach to his problems, which is alleged to publicly paint himself as a victim of terrible injustice. For example, ever since moving to California in 2020, Harry has publicly criticized the press and even his own family members. Vine believes these differences may be what caused William and Harry to drift apart. For someone as measured and as thoughtful as William, his brother's constant outbursts and apparent disregard for anyone else's feelings save his own must be for anyone else's